Hey guys, good morning. It's morning here. Today I am getting out the greenhouse and then we are planting sweet peas today. So we are planting the sweet peas alongside the chicken coop and the black plant black planters that I got a few years ago. Um, they are perfect for this. I think this is gonna be so beautiful along the chicken coop. It's edible, pretty. Let's get started. So these are the planters and I'm going to fill them with soil and then plant the sweet peas at the back portion of the planter and hopefully no neighborhood cats will pee in these and ruin my crop. We'll see. Hey girls. The big girls are out. Those are the salmon favorals and those are the silky babies. They spent their first night in the coop and they did really, really well. I'm proud of them. I'm so happy to have them out of my house because they made my living room smell like a barnyard. It was, it was getting bad. They're eight weeks, nine weeks this week. So typically you'd put chickens out at six weeks, but because I hatched them in February, it was just way too cold to just throw them out at six weeks. So. I think right now is perfect. The nights are, aren't dipping too low. Um, so I think they'll be fine. Worst case, if I think there's gonna be like an extremely cold night, I'll just bring them back inside. Well, doesn't that just freshen up the place? Fresh soil all the way down. Somebody's upset that somebody else is in the nest box that they want to be in, so they're, they're fussing. But look at that. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to get some fertilizer um, and add that into these bins. So I'm going to use the Super Thrive um, in all of the beds here. It's great for vegetables, so, and it's organic. Yay! So we've got seeds from our local um, greenhouse of sugar snap peas. And then we also have these park seed super snap peas that we're gonna be planting today. I've already planted a bed of sugar snap. I've already planted a bed of sugar snap peas. So we're just gonna use up the rest of this and then start in on this bag.
the sweet peas are all planted and watered in they should be up probably 7 to 14 day ish yes Margie yes okay 7 to 14 days they should be up already here's the greenhouse I just carried it right out of the garage we never took it I have not break broken this back down since I put it together so we just carry it into the garage and just sit it in there fully set up so it makes it so easy to bring it out and down here um, when it's time so I don't usually bring it out till April and it's April now so these are the things that I had in my screen and porch um, so they're all going to be moved in here well they're already moved in here um, I'll gradually add more things as they are ready to come outside but this greenhouse protects them pretty well unless things dip down like probably in the 20s and the teens sometimes we have um, days like that in the winter and then you'll see a little bit of struggle but yeah for the most part this greenhouse works pretty well look at those fern fronds coming up cinnamon fern I'm not so pretty I love that these chickens are so loud I got ch hens obviously because I thought they would be quiet they are not quiet usually like for the first half of the day they are squawking non-stop the babies like when you have chicks they're pretty quiet but once they start laying they are the most loudest creatures on the planet thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video bye